gunshot victims would be transported if transported by EMS to the general hospital. Dr. Andrew Healy was the emergency care physician at St. Joe's the night Yusuf al Husnawi was shot by Dale King in central Hamilton. Hamilton 2036, we're mobile 32 to St. Joe's. The paramedics communicate with the hospital next. A 19 year old male patient who was uh, shot in the abdomen with a pellet gun. He's got a small penetrating wound to his lower abdomen that's controlled. That information was relayed to Dr. Healy. Patient's tachycardi, tachycardic at about 145 and extremely altered. Um, friends and family deny any drugs or alcohol, although he's acting extremely confused. Dr. Healy said he was preparing for a patient with a rapid heart rate and a gunshot wound, despite hearing the paramedic describe it as a pellet. The comment about a pellet gun provides me with no useful information because I'm preparing for the worst case scenario. Dr. Healy testified today that the emergency room was busy that night, adding that staff were transitioning to a new information system called Dovetail. And even with training and additional staff, it seemed to be slowing people down. So he assembled a team and he told them not to worry about the system, only focus on the patient. About two minutes later, paramedics communicated again with the hospital. The patient's heart rate is about 45. Uh, he's non combative. Hard to. Uh Rouse currently will be there in two minutes. Yusuf had a vastly different heart rate. I'm worried that this means he is dying. Yusuf is last seen on video here as the ambulance arrives at St. Joe's. Stephen Snively, who was driving, comes around back and opens the doors. Christopher Merchant is inside with Yusuf, who isn't moving. His oxygen mask appears to come off. Marchant returns to the ambulance, grabs it, and puts it back on Yusuf's face. Then they go inside. Crown attorney Scott Patterson asks, did you notice an injury? Dr. Healy says, I did. There was a piece of gauze. There was an entry wound, what appeared to be an entry wound. They performed CPR and blood was coming out from the wound with each compression. Dr. Healy says we made a call to the blood bank to access blood and we began virtually immediately by performing a thoracotomy, opening up Yusuf's chest. The Crown asks, was this your only option? Dr. Healy says, yes. They found blood in the abdomen. Despite an order from the blood bank, it never arrived. In Dr. Healy's testimony, he said, quote, even if the blood had come at the earliest moment, I do not believe it would have made a difference to his outcome, adding that in his professional opinion, Yusuf had a low single-digit percentage of survival. 55-year-old Stephen Snively and 32-year-old Christopher Merchant are accused of failing to provide the necessaries of life. They lost their jobs as paramedics, but if found guilty of the criminal offense, face up to five years in prison.